General Pipe Cleaner's Jet Set Water Jets are the ideal tools for cleaning grease, sludge, sand, and ice from clogged drain lines. They use a stream of high pressure water that hits the stoppage and flushes it away. The thrust of the jet nozzle drives the hose down the line and gives you wall-to-wall -wall cleaning action. This video provides a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using General's water jet drain cleaners. Disregarding any of the safety procedures can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. This video does not include a complete list of all of the recommended safety procedures and does not provide specific instructions for every application. Before you start, remember the following safety instructions. Be sure to wear safety goggles to protect your eyes from spray and debris. With electric models, check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. Make sure the grounding prong is attached. If the power cord supplied is not long enough, use a heavy-duty 12-gauge three-wire cord in good condition. It must be no more than 50 feet in length. Before each use, test the ground fault circuit interrupter by pressing the test button, then the reset button. If the light comes on, the circuit is good. If using a gas jet, locate the machinery away from combustible materials, fumes, or dust. Operate the machine in open spaces where there is adequate oxygen and where carbon monoxide will not build up. Never point the spray wand or nozzle at anyone. The high pressure spray is powerful enough to break the skin. If fluid seems to have penetrated your skin, get emergency care at once. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Be sure to read your instruction manual before operating the water jet. If you have questions, call the Drain Brains at General. Follow this operational checklist before each use. If you are using a gas jet, periodically check the oil in the engine. Check gear case oil on appropriate models. Check the oil in the pump of all jets before each use. Check the inlet filter before each use. For optimum performance, you should use the hose and nozzle that match your job requirements. Use the 3 8 inch ID hose for cleanouts, 4 inch to 8 inch floor drains, and septic lines at distances up to 300 feet on gas jets or 200 feet on electric models. With the quarter inch hose, you can clear 2 inch through 4 inch lines more than 200 feet down the line on gas jets or 150 feet on electric. The eighth inch hose has the flexibility to get through inch and a half and two inch lines and tight bends up to 75 feet down the line. With the use of specialized nozzles, your jetter can be equipped for almost any situation. Use the powerful penetrating nozzle for maximum power to cut through grease and ice. Use the wide spray flushing nozzle to clean and pressure wash the pipe walls thoroughly. Use the spring leader nozzle for getting around tight bends and P-traps. The optional downhead nozzle takes the hose down T's and around difficult bends. Leave the lines crystal clear with the optional rotary nozzle. It scours the walls of the pipe for real wall-to-wall -wall cleaning action. It's best to start with the penetrating nozzle to break through the stoppage, and then follow up with the wide spray nozzle for a thorough cleaning job. Remember, jet machines create a high pressure water spray. Never point the spray at anyone, including yourself. The high pressure spray is powerful enough to break the skin. If fluid seems to have penetrated your skin, get emergency care at once.
To begin, position the machine several feet from the drain opening to allow enough room to work with the hose. Ideally, the line should be cleared from the lower end, that is, from the street to the building. Engage the brake on the four-wheel models. Run the water for several seconds to make sure the water is clear of sediment. Then connect the water supply hose to the inlet of the jet. Use a three-quarter inch heavy-duty water supply hose. This type of hose will ensure that enough water is supplied to the pump. An insufficient water supply will cause cavitation and damage the pump. The incoming water pressure must be no more than 100 PSI and the incoming water temperature must not exceed 140 degrees Fahrenheit or you could damage the pump. Plug the electric jet into a 120 volt 20 amp grounded circuit. Loosen the hose reel drag brake. Select a nozzle and thread it onto the end of the hose. Pull the hose and nozzle from the reel and slide it into the drain as far as it will go. Make sure the hose is at least around the first bend to prevent splashback. Open the hose bib or faucet all the way for maximum water flow. Turn on the jet output valve to get the air out of the hose before turning on the jet. Make sure the vibra-pulse valve is off. You should hear the water flowing in the drain. For the electric jet, simply turn on the power switch. If the circuit you are using cannot handle the load, the amp draw can be reduced by turning down the unloader valve to a lower pressure. To start a gas jet, turn the engine switch on and move the throttle lever to half. If the engine is cold, open the choke. Then pull the cord firmly. If your machine has the electric start option, simply turn the key. Guide the jet hose into the drain. Allow the hose to slide down the line a few feet. Then pull the hose back half the distance advanced. The actual cleaning takes place when the hose is pulled back toward the operator. Move the hose back and forth to break up the stoppage and flush it down the line. To assist the hose around tight bends or to help it slide down longer runs, turn on the Vibra Pulse. It's especially helpful for smaller electric jets. The vibration will be most effective in the eighth inch diameter hose. If the hose fails to advance or has difficulty getting around the bend, you can rotate the hose by putting a loop in it and twisting back and forth. Or pull the hose back about a foot and snap it forward so that the hose can jump around the bend. If this is not successful, switch to the spring leader nozzle or a smaller diameter hose or both. When the line has been cleared, turn off the jet before pulling the end of the hose out of the line. This prevents you from getting hit with high pressure spray. The optional cart reel lets you use the power of gas jets on indoor applications where exhaust fumes could be hazardous. Simply place the gas machine safely outdoors, then pull the hose into the building and connect it to the portable reel. The smaller handy reel can be used indoors or taken up on the roof while the jet sits safely on the ground. The handy reel also includes a foot pedal. Water flows when you step on the pedal and stops when you lift your foot, so both hands are free to control the hose. Foot pedals are also available separately. To operate the spray wand, disconnect the hose at the output valve by unthreading the twist connect. Then connect the spray wand hose instead. Open the output valve. Turn on the water supply, then squeeze the trigger as you start the machine. As with any jet operation, you must wear goggles, rubber gloves, and boots while operating the spray wand. When using your jet machine during freezing temperatures, it's important to winterize the pump to protect it from damage. If you can't store the machine indoors, 
the next best thing is to flush the system with antifreeze between uses. Simply attach a short piece of garden hose to the inlet on the pump and put the other end into the antifreeze container. Turn the machine on to draw the antifreeze into the system. If kept relatively undiluted, the same antifreeze can be used again and again. Be sure to read your instruction manual before operating your water jet or performing maintenance on the unit. If you have any questions, you can always call the Drain Brains at General. General's Jet Set Water Jets give you another weapon to use on some of your toughest stoppages. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.